In the episode number 119 of the ASAP Tech News, we talk about the new EK waterblock distribution plate for the Liali O11D XL case, G-Skill has a new high-frequency DDR5 RAM kit, Sabrent and Fison have a record-breaking M.2 SSD and Jorsbo has a new air CPU cooler. We start with EK Waterblocks, which has released a new distribution plate, this one made specifically for the Liali O11D XL case. What's different about this distribution plate is that it has an integrated 7-inch IPS monitor. This screen will act as a secondary monitor on the system and can be used to display anything you want as long as it fits the resolution, which is 1024 by 600 pixels. The distribution plate is compatible with the latest generation D5 pump and can handle upwards of 787 milliliters of coolant. Other features of this distribution plate include the before mentioned D5 pump, which is included and is the generation 3 model, an addressable DRGB LED strip that runs down the entire length of the distribution plate, and an anodized black aluminum cover which hides the unwanted LED hotspots. The price of this distribution plate is no less than 600 euros, which translates to 642 US dollars. Next, Sabrent and Fison have been working together to deliver a record-breaking PCIe Gen 5 M.2 SSD. The Sabrent Rocket X5 Gen 5 SSD is a next-gen M.2 SSD that is already in the testing phase and has delivered upwards of 12 GB per second of speed. The goal of the company is to develop a Gen 5 SSD that can break through the 14,000 MB per second limit. However, right now, only 12,000 MB per second were achieved. Still, it's an impressive result for an M.2 SSD, especially since the competition is hovering at around 10 GB per second worth of speed. The Rocket X5 is still in the development and testing stages and the performance is expected to improve with time. No words for the price and capacity of this drive, but if history teaches us something is that these new top-end products will come at a premium, as they should, given the cost of development. We continue with G-Skill, which has announced a new Trident Z5 RGB RAM kit that sports a 8000 MHz frequency with the timings CL3848848 and a capacity of 48GB in a 2-module configuration. This RAM kit more than likely will barely run in a base Z790 motherboard as it requires a high voltage and a good memory controller plus good voltage management. The frequency and performance showcased is impressive and shows how fast the advancements of technology is at this moment. However, such RAM kits will make little to no sense for the regular user that just wants a bit more performance for almost the same price. And finally, Jonesbow has a new air CPU cooler that is rated for 230 watts of cooling. The HX5230 is advertised as a mid-range air CPU cooler that uses just a single 120mm fan for its active cooling and 5 copper made heat pipes. From a design perspective, this CPU cooler is great as it uses metal components and covers with an all black finish on everything except the surface of the base plate. The impressive thing with this CPU cooler is the claim that the heatsink and the fan combination will be able to cool no less than 230 watts worth of heat, which if true would be impressive to say the least. Only time and reviews will tell us if this CPU cooler is worth the ask price and the claim of the performance. And this is the end of the episode number 119 of the ASAP Tech News, one of the few tech news series which aims to deliver you the news as fast as possible for your convenience.